Welcome back. Dr. Schmitz joins us to talk about colon cancer awareness, and that's what March is all about. Indeed. It's just a good time of year to remind people to ask their doctors about proper screening for colon cancer. Um, in my radiation oncology field, we see people who oftentimes have had their colon cancer get a little bit out of control, and we have to offer some radiation therapy if that cancer has gone through the bowel wall or into the lymph nodes. But gosh, if it's caught early, Oftentimes, just some surgery, resect it, and it's done with a very, very high cure rate. Are there some, some symptoms that you should be aware of? A lot of times, there, it can be non-symptomatic in early form, but mm -hmm. obviously, if there's, any, if there's any blood in the stools that's apparent, a change in bowel pattern, sometimes just some persistent crampy abdominal pain, but mm -hmm. many times, in its earliest form, it's, it's silent. And so, mm -hmm. starting at, at age 50, is when they recommend that most people have screening tests done. Mm -hmm. The most ideal test is a colonoscopy, which is done at five to ten year intervals, maybe at three year intervals if they find any polyps. Mm -hmm. But in addition to, to detecting colon cancer early, mm -hmm. if, you, they, if they remove the polyps, it's actually one of the few screening tests that can actually prevent cancer, because sometimes those polyps can go on to become cancers. Can you walk us through what is involved in a colonoscopy? Well, basically, I know, I know they, they recommend, of course, doing the bowel prep, and everybody complains that that's the worst part of the whole thing. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> and, and but I tell you, I only hear people that regret not doing it. Because yeah. because otherwise it's just done. They usually use some sedation, so a person is not aware of the process going on. It doesn't take mm -hmm. very long. Mm -hmm. um, but and uh, and really, then it's a matter of just following up with with their doctor's recommendations. If a person has a family history mm -hmm. of colon cancer, mm -hmm. if they themselves have a have a, their own history of polyps ulcerative colitis, some of the colon inflammation disorders and all, they should probably have their colonoscopies and screenings done, maybe starting at even at age 40, if not even younger. If you hear the news that you do have some sort of colon cancer, how are the treatments going? Are they progressing? They, they are. The, with, with all the new, uh, especially chemotherapy regimens, as, as for some of the more advanced type of cancers, they are. We're, we're able to, news. yes, I indeed. And, and uh, But indeed, if it's caught early, some, uh, typically just surgery and it's done with a usually excess of 90% cure rate. Say people have some questions about colon cancer and colonoscopies, who can they call? Well, the, uh, their, their primary care doctor would be a very good source. Uh -huh. The American Cancer Society, their website, uh, www.cancer.org. And um, I, I'm at the Paul Sieben Morgan Cancer Center at Tarot Regional Hospital. Uh -huh. um, our number, 237-9326. Uh -huh. But any questions, we'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much, Dr. Schmitz. Live safing information. Have a great Friday. Thank you, too. And we'll be right back.